Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got a passing video for you today. Today I'm going to be going over my top five passing plays in Madden 21 right now. This is past the latest patch. EA just put out a major patch where they really tried to address some of the more exploitive um, passing plays in the game. A lot of which I put out on this channel. I'm going to go over the things that they changed so that you can make a lot of the plays that I put out work as well as give you guys some new plays. So if you didn't catch the original videos, uh, this I will go over all the most explosive passing plays that I've put out so far this year. So go to catch up all in one video. Uh, other than that, I'm going to get right into it. If you guys want to do me a favor though before I start this video, uh, do me a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button, like, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps out my channel. And if you like what you see, make sure to stick around by subscribing. The first play that I'm going to start off with, and this is really the reason I'm making this video, is uh, one of the more successful plays that I put out this year, the middle high low. I put it out in gameplay originally. Uh, it's a really glitchy play, so much so the EA has tried to patch it twice, but I'm going to show you guys how to make it work one more time. So, to start off, this play uh, is originally a cover 2 concept. You're not really supposed to need to do anything. The idea is the Y route really shoots for that area. So, if you have a decent amount of speed, typically you don't have to make any adjustments and it's a good cover 2 play. But to make this even better and more explosive, I find it's best to motion across one of these receivers. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to use the RB route because in the cover 3 variation I'm going to show you in a minute, I'm going to make the same motion. Put him on a streak, put the A route on a streak, put the X route on a comeback, and now you're going to have a much more dramatic win window uh, because of the way that these routes are pulling apart now the hardest part is probably staying in bounds if somebody's running a cover one or a cover zero uh, cover two even sometimes the y route has a way of getting past the man coverage so you just have to really just wait for him to turn that corner and you're gonna have a really explosive play a lot of people are running uh, man one this year I personally run it quite a bit this is going to be a very frustrating play uh, to run as well against that particular defense and that includes also if your opponent's running like an all-out man blitz you may not think you have the time to get the playoff but ultimately I mean this route is just so glitchy it just runs right past the defense so if they're sending an all-out blitz this is going to be a perfect play so whether it's cover two which is supposed to beat man coverage which is basically designed to beat those are defenses that this play should be a play that it shouldn't beat is cover three now against cover three all you had to do prior to the first patch was put that a x route on a smart route and for whatever reason this y route would just sprint right past the cover three cornerback now it doesn't really work that way you can see i mean godwin has some good speed so it's still somewhat possible uh but it's not really the way to go now they kind of patch that if you watch the replay i mentioned this in the previous uh, video where i kind of updated this uh, these cornerbacks now uh slow down the receiver they bump them off and it basically passes them off to the cover three cornerback pretty successfully so it doesn't really work that well against cover three unless you make the new adjustment so basically they did address this in the patch that now if you motion across the rb route um, they basically sprint across you can see the db goes into a sprint rather than uh, so to basically let that not happen so there is still a way to make this work against cover three and i've been using it uh, in my gameplay you're just going to want to make sure you streak all three receivers on the right side uh, put the x route on a smoke and now i'm going to motion snap rager so but i'm not going to let the anybody get set i'm just going to basically snap him and now you can see it's off to the races one more time so this is still a really good play once again i'm catching that boundary but you can see this is still a really good play against cover three with this new adjustment so let's go ahead and do that one more time like i said motion snapping rager not letting anybody get set is the new way to do this now you can see that y route is just right up the alley and it's an instant cover three cover two and cover one man beater all for instant touchdowns the next play will be out of the single back wing close flex. This is something that they haven't really tried to patch too much, I don't think. Uh, but it's still one of the best plays in the game. Like I said, this is my top five uh, passing plays. If you want to see top five run plays, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, the next play is the four verticals. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. So this play is already uniquely designed to beat cover two. The way the A route and the B route uh, basically arc in towards the center will pull the safeties in. And that's going to make it a really easy throw uh, to the B route. A lot of times you just have to wait till he gets past the cornerback, pass it outside got to watch that boundary once again like i said it's best to run us to the open side of the field but you can hit one play touchdowns with this against cover too uh, but you're typically going to want to run it with a streaking b route and a streaking a route and the reason that is, is because a lot of times i when i run this in games a lot of times i think i'm looking at a cover two i get lazy i don't make that adjustment then it turns out to be a cover three so doing this against cover three and 
cover two is really going to be the best look. And then you can see it also pulls that safety back a little bit better. Uh, this can be a one-play touchdown, even though I'm not going to necessarily hit it in this video. Like I said, running it to the open side of the field is probably going to be the best way to do that. A lot of these plays are going to be more explosive, run to the open side of the field. They're actually messed up and pass blocked the one tight end, but it won't matter. So like I said here, just pass leading outside, waiting once he gets past the cornerback, and it's a really easy catch and run for a one-play touchdown against cover two. So like I was saying, against cover three, um, you can have a lot of success with this play as well. You can motion out either Goddard or the X route, one of the two routes. It really doesn't matter. I typically pass block the running back because he doesn't have any effect against this coverage the same way he does the cover two. And then you can see how we have a really easy uh, alley up the cover three scene there, uh, which uh, you can easily get one play touchdowns from. Uh, I'm going to do this twice, once with uh, both motions just to show you uh, how you can have that effect with either one. It really doesn't matter. I find that if you make the motion with this particular receiver, though, um, the safety doesn't necessarily draw away like he would with the, with this, with the tight ends. Like I said, to me, ultimately, I really like to do the tight end because I find it pulls the safety in that direction uh, coverage-wise a little bit better. And like I said, I'm just waiting for that cornerback to bite down, uh, and then I can really get some easy uh, throws to the, uh, the streaking B route there for one play. The next play is the PA crossers out of the gun tray flex. You can have the effect I'm going to show you uh, from a lot of different plays. The dagger uh, is another one that you can do it out of. I know that, that I put it out uh, not too long ago out of the single back wing flex. I use the PA wide drag wheel. It really doesn't matter. The crossers, though, is probably the most common play uh, found in most playbooks. It's also called the PA cross shot. Uh, you can find this in any gun tray formation. Gun tray, gun tray wide flex, gun tray flex. The, uh, a play that looks just like this. So pretty much every single playbook should have a play that you can do the play I'm about to show you from. So this play, I just pick random defense because it really doesn't matter what type of uh, defense you're looking at. Uh, this will have a lot of success against pretty much every man or zone. I'm just going to put the RB route on a, on a uh, pass block. Streak the A route, put the Y route on a drag. That's really the only thing that you have to do. Sometimes if I see a cover three or cover four, I'll put the X route on a smoke. Uh, a lot of times it gets forgotten. It's a really good check down. But the routes that are going to have the most success are going to be the Y route, which is going to be your check down, and the B route. Uh, which is going to be uh, pretty much the big play against cover or against man or zone. You can see right there. Um, I, I probably should. I mean, a little bit of pressure. A lot of times is going to be the issue. Uh, the Eagles' offensive line is really beat up, so um, it feels like I'm going to get more pressure from from this uh, than I might normally. Uh, but like I said, that B route there. If you bullet pass lead that uh, away, you're going to have a lot of very uh, successful plays against man or zone. So, like I said, it doesn't really matter what the defensive look is. I'm going to run it one more time. I should be pass leading a little bit more dramatically, too. I want to pass lead that all the way to the sideline. As you can see right there, we're just picking up really big chunk plays. You can get one play touchdowns out of this. The next play is out of the gun, empty Y Saint. Uh, and it's the Saints drag. This is something I just recently put out. I don't think they had an opportunity to patch it. Still one of the best plays in the game. We're going to pick that. This is another play that's a designed cover two play, uh, but can also be used against cover three where it really shouldn't be able to be. Um, I was typically motioning in the uh, the running back here, putting him on a streak, and that's really going to help to get this Y route outside. Um, as you can see, just got to get a good pass lead. This is another play. You can get going if you have enough space. I ran out of the boundary a little bit there, but I safe caught it. Uh, but another really big chunk play uh, when it comes to cover two. Now, I typically also want to streak the A route, streak the RB route. The, R the RB route I would put on a drag. The B route and the A route I would streak um, just to give myself the most, uh, the best look when it comes to cover two. And then you can see, I mean, if I can get this and stay in bounds, I'm easily going for some touchdowns. Against man coverage, like cover one, cover two even, uh, the Y route's going to be just as successful. So, you know, this is, once again, these are this is the type of route that for whatever reason just has does a really good job of running past the cornerback where most routes, especially streaks, do not get past man coverage cornerbacks. And then against cover three to beat the patch, we're going to do the exact same motion snap that we did from a previous play um, so that the cornerback can't really get his hands on the uh, on the receiver. There, I didn't even get the uh, I didn't even get the, the motion correctly because the receiver is supposed to run a route, but you can see it doesn't matter. So ultimately, the only effect that you need uh, is the is the cornerbacks flipping to make this play work again. So like I said, I don't need them to actually run the route. And you can see how the Y route here, it just basically streaks right past the cover three corner. Against cover four quarters, you can have success as well by motioning in the X route and putting them on the comeback route. Uh, cover four quarters will basically turn like a man coverage. So the Y route will have the same success he does against man defenses. Uh, as you can see, I mean, I basically just have to get a better throw but it uh, gets behind it the same way. And then the last play, I'm going to go a play out of the single back wing stack, and that's going to be the spot stick. This is one of my favorite plays. We'll start off against cover two again. 
So I'll streak the B route, put the Y route on a drag, uh, put the A route on a, I'm sorry, put the, the running back on a block, drag the A route, and then the RB route, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put him on a streak. I can motion him out, whatever, just, you know, basically I want him to maintain uh, that side of the defense. Uh, the X route here, for, one, for whatever reason, is, is now making a little bit of a stutter step, <laughs> but you can see it's really going to be an easy play. Against cover three, the setup's pretty much the same. That's why I was saying to motion out the RB route and put him on a streak, though, because against cover three, I feel like that has a really good effect. Um, you can streak the A route as well to keep the safety in check, or you can have him on the drag as a check down. It doesn't really matter. Um, I find that on this particular play, though, and this is something that I didn't put out in the past, if you put the X route on a smart route, you can see right now he's at about a 10-yard uh, marker where he makes his break. If you smart route him, he makes that break a lot quicker, and it's going to basically make that cornerback drop a lot faster and make this throw window a lot more dramatic. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see uh, top five run plays, top five defenses, anything like that, let me know in the comment section of the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.